Hi, this is Diana from Market Rumba, making videos easy with Keynote. And this is my Keynote to Video series, adding video backgrounds to Keynote for special effects. So if you ever want to make a cool title like this one, this video, presented by Market Rumba, that would be a really cool title entry to any video, and with music that would look even better. And with Keynote, you can have these video backgrounds and you can add image and text animations on top of your video background. And you can even combine shapes, images, and text with the video to spice up Keynote and any presentation. So bullet points look pretty cool this way if you want to use that instead of the traditional bullet points. You can also show a video inside an image. Now, this is a pretty neat little way to use video in a cartoon fashion or with any image that has a cutout and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So this is basically a video background with simple moving black shapes or just re black rectangles that close over the text. And on the next slide, it opens up to a different set of text with a different video background behind it. That's all that is. And here the video is just a background but you can add keynote animations on top of it. And with this one, I'm going to show you, when you combine the shapes and the text with video, you know, you can move this around wherever you want, and the video in the background just gives that, you know, extra dimension to your presentation. Here are the video inside the image. It's not moving because I'm in, uh, not in play mode, but if I put play mode, you'll see how there that is, and I'll show you how I made this. Basically, the TV image has a cutout in the screen. Do you see that? So you can see the video behind it. There's the video. And this is the actual image. I made the background gray so you could see that this is a TV image with this white area. So the white area covers the square video in the background. Now videos important to, imported to Keynote maintain their ratios when they're resized. So if you take a video, click on it, and want to resize it by any of the handles, doesn't matter what handle you use, it's always going to keep the same proportion of the video, whether it's 16 by 9, 3 by 4, whatever it is. Keynote shapes, on the other hand, do different things when you pull on the handles. They're dynamic shapes. So just know when you import any kind of video, it will stay as a rectangle like this. You can never make it into a different shape. It will stay that way. Now here, let me show you how I made the television set. Here is the image that I use, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a shadow to the image so you can see it. There you go. There's the image. As you can see, it's not hollow. Here's the video that I just dragged in off my desktop, and here's the little part that will go in front of the screen to make it look a little better. So what you want to do, in Keynote, you can use the alpha channel to cut out a color that you don't want to have in an image. This can only work with images, cannot work with video or with shapes. So click on the image that you're using, go up to the top here, press the alpha button, your cursor will turn into a crosshair. Now you click and drag until the color turns completely blue of the area that you want to get rid of. So now I let go, oops, I think I did too much there, let's go back there. Okay, so now you see that only the middle part where I originally clicked has the hole in it. So now that we've got that hole in there, now we can just put the video behind it. As you see, you need that white edge around it so you don't see the rest of the square of the video. And then this part, I'm just going to bring it to the front by clicking the front button. This is a front layer. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to resize this. And it's just, you know, these are dynamic shapes in Keynote. So there you go. So here's my cool little television. I'm going to click on the television image, get rid of the background, and voila! There it is. I'm going to press play, click, and there you go. There's your television. Now you can also add videos of yourself. There you go. I put myself in the television. I'm a little off center. I will eventually be in, you know, in the center, but it might be a neat little way to add different aspects to your video using different shapes, different images. And just know that adding video files to Keynote makes the file sizes file sizes much bigger. So you want to be careful of that. You don't want to overuse your video. 
And here are some great places that I got um, some motion videos. Here is iPresent T. And these are keynote motion themes. So all these different themes are like regular keynote themes, but they all have some kind of video background moving all the time. Only thing is that this background will be the same moving theme throughout your whole entire video. You can't change it around. But but you do get this all for $29.99, all of these. Or you can go to Video Blocks where for $79 for 30 days, you get to choose from all these different categories of all these different video clips, and it's unlimited download. So if you wanna do that and only spend $79 and then just download, 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 that would be a great way of getting lots of video backgrounds. Or you can go to Ignite Motion, and they do have free video backgrounds here that you can choose from. Here's the one that I chose here. So that those are just a couple of places. You can also go to footageshutterstock.com and iStockphoto.com forward slash video for professional high-end stock videos. This is Diana from Market Rumba. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, share on Facebook, Twitter, share the video love out there. See you guys on the web.